Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out our video inventory update. We've got some beautiful new freshwater fish to show you. Here we've got some very cool L200 yellow placos. Got a couple of those guys in. Uh, nice algae eater, like to munch on driftwood too, do well in a planted tank. And uh, non aggressive will do well pretty much with anybody. Also got on a beautiful assortment of assorted male rainbows. Uh, a bunch of different varieties in here. Nice. Uh, Nice red and some color. These are a very peaceful fish. Do well in community tanks. Um, they get about five to six inches when they're full grown. Really nice fish and uh, easy to take care of. Really good for uh, for any community aquarium. Also got in some really nice cichlids here. Oh, here we go. These are black piebalds. Um, there's a picture of them when they're adults. You can see these guys hanging out there about uh, two two and a half inches at the moment. Also got in some Avanti yellowtail zebras, these little guys. Uh, same size in these, about two, two and a half inches. And there's a picture of an adult on that one. Tricolor Fulus. These guys are bigger, they're about five inches. Um, nice um, allowed variety. These guys are uh, not too aggressive as far as cichlid goes, as cichlids go, but uh, nice fish. Definitely want to keep them in a more aggressive community tank. Over here we've got some red cap lithropus. These are uh, juveniles, the little guys there. And show you a picture on those guys. Awesome fish when they get to be adults. Some really nice coloration on them. Also got in some nice red eye tetras. Excellent starter fish. Uh, community tank does well with pretty much anybody. They're about two inches, inch and a half, two inches now. Some gorgeous uh, large German blue rams. These guys are about two and a half to three inches at the moment. Um, showing great color and uh, looking really fantastic. These guys sell out quick, so be sure to come in and pick some of those up before they're gone. Down here, we've also got in some more of the cichlids. These are um, Astatotilapias um, caliptera. These are a, another uh, 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 Malawan variety. These guys, uh, let's see, there's a little bit smaller ones there. Really cool fish. Uh, there's a the coloration on them when they get to be adults. Nice male showing there. These are a little bigger, they're about uh, three, three and a half inches. Some real nice Skittles frogs. These guys have been real popular for us. Great for a community tank. Um, do get a little bit bigger uh, when they are uh, adults, so you gotta keep them stuff that can't fit in their mouth. Real nice red fire dwarf garamis. Great community fish, does well in smaller tanks as well. They're about uh, two and a half to three inches. That's about all the bigger they get. They're a dwarf uh, garami variety. And here we have got some ultra-rare Placidochromus phenoclis. These are a, another uh, African variety, and these guys are about uh, two and a half to three inches now. Here's a picture of an adult coloration there. See kind of a blotchy fish, kind of a cool, uh, almost iridescent pattern to them. Very unique one we have never seen before. Um, ultra-rare, hard to get, uh, very cool fish. And in here we've got some Fuscotaniatus. These are a, another nice South or, uh, African cichlid variety. These guys are about two and a half, yeah, about two and a half inches. Some a couple a little bit bigger, three inches on those guys. And they get nice too, a little bit of an iridescent blue face to them. Right. And a nice assortment of uh, common Africans here. These guys are all, there's Kenya, zebras, some OBs, uh, some, looks like some Chipokis in there. Just a nice mix for a uh, general community, African community tank. Nice Melanistus quarry cats, great bottom feeder, do well in a community tank and smaller tanks as well. These are about full grown, uh, about two and a half inches on these guys. And also got in some really nice uh, teacup stingrays, little teacups here. These guys are about three to four inches in their disc size. Very cool fish, um, does well in a non-aggressive, semi community tank. You can put them up like angels, discus, things like that. Uh, a lot of times people just keep them by themselves. Very cool though, and these also sell out quick, so be sure to come snatch those up. And if there is something that you see that you like, give us a call, 414-546-2201. We'd be happy to put it on hold for you for 24 hours. We've got some nice assorted large angels. Nice mix there, commons and bales. Some little guys here. These guys are about uh, nickel size bodies for the most part. Nice assortment. Some more of those large angels there. Also got in some nice auto cats. Great algae eater. Do great in community tanks. 
especially good for uh, smaller nano tanks and with live plants. They like to eat the hair algae and stuff off of live plants, so they're really cool for that. Um, they're about an uh, inch, inch and a half at the moment. And over here, we got in, where did they go? Some more of those red eye tetras. Here we go. Uh, Bushy nose placos. These guys are nice, uh, especially in a little bit more aggressive tanks because they got kind of spines on their faces, so most of the more aggressive stuff will leave them alone. Africans and things like that. And good algae eater, they get about six to eight inches when they're full grown, so they don't get real big like some of the common placo varieties. Some more of the nice uh, dramas there. And nice assortment of tiger barbs. Good uh, semi aggressive community fish. Just don't want to keep them typically with things with. Uh, Long fins because they can be a little bit of tail numbers, but very hardy, great for uh, community, smaller community tanks. Do a great job as a starter fish as well. And I also got in, I passed them up over here. Here we go, I missed these guys. These are our uh, Gibbiceps Placos. <laughs> Excuse me, a variety you don't see real often. Um, there's kind of a sail fin Placo, they get the higher dorsal fin. A little bit different coloration than the common ones. Um, still get pretty good size, 10 inches, uh, 10 to 12 inches usually. Um, but a cool fish, just uh, fried a little bit different than a standard Playco for somebody who's looking for something that's just a little bit unique. Alright guys, thanks for checking it out. Be sure to check out the website also. we got details for our uh, annual customer appreciation sale coming up May 17th and 18th. All the fresh water will be buy one get one free. Uh, variety of discounts on saltwater fish and plus a bunch of other specials, giveaways, prizes, etc. So have a great day and talk to you soon.